Yo, yo, yo. Think I messed that up. CPA strength here. Strongest CPA in the game. <laughs> we back again. We are back with uh, Accounting for Beginners number 137. I'm gonna make this intro short and sweet. Please drop a like. I will give you a free cookie. It'll arrive in the mail in two to three business days. So please like, share, comment, subscribe, comment for videos you wanna see. Um, I have the best accounting playlist in the world right here. Look at that. It's got all 130, to this point, 137 um, videos. I'm trying some new things. Got some lights up, hopefully it's a little lighter. Uh, trying to do something with the focus, but that's not coming in that good. This is a huge play on, this is, this is um, accounting for beginners number three. I had five journal entries to do. And the fifth journal entry, I wrote down, goes to ATM, personal 100. This is what I wrote down on the, uh, the fifth journal entry on accounting for beginners number three. I'll put a card, I'll put a card up on the, uh, that video. So you might be coming from that and you might not be, it doesn't really matter. I just barely, barely uh, touched on it, maybe a minute. And I've gotten so many questions, so many questions about, you know, what is, what is the draw? What is the cash? What does it mean? What I got so many questions on it, and it is a little, a little confusing. Um, and I just touched on it for about a minute. That was my fifth journal entry. I was tired of doing it. Anyways, I wrote goes to ATM personal 100, and the journal entry for that that I had was debit draw of 100 credit cash of 100 that was the journal entry and i'm looking over that and i'm thinking well that doesn't goes to atm personal 100 i mean for a beginner's video when you're just learning this stuff it doesn't didn't make much sense i thought i should have put goes to atm takes out a hundred dollars for personal reasons i think that makes more sense of what was going on so you, you go to you go to the ATM, you take out hundred dollars for personal reasons, and this is the journal entry we had we came up with. But now I want to take take this video and explain uh, how how we came how we came across that. Now of course if you've been watching my videos, you know DC light. I switched it up this time. I put I put lights on. I switched I switched it all out, dog. <laughs> we uh. We got on the right hand side instead of the left hand side, so I hope it doesn't confuse anybody. It's still the same. We got uh, debit, credit, asset, draw, withdraw. I decided to add withdraw because I think it makes more sense than a draw because I always think I'm drawing on the board. So we're withdrawing. So I added that to draw. Uh, expense, liability, equity, revenue. DC, aid, lure. So what are we gonna do? Let's let's go to the cash. We just did a video on cash. I've done a lot of videos on cash. If cat, uh, we all know cash. Cash is an asset. And if anything in here is confusing to you, I have tons and tons of other videos that'll help explain this. So goes to ATM takes out hundred dollars for personal reasons. Takes out hundred dollars. So that's hundred dollars cash you take out. What is cash? We know cash is an asset. Assets over here on DC Adler. Oh, these are in normal balances or increasing here. Now you took out a hundred dollars for personal. You took out a hundred dollars. We're not gonna. We're not considered on. We're not concerned on why or how yet. We're just concerned with. We took out a hundred dollars. So we have a hundred dollars of cash leaving the business. So we have cash decreasing. Cash is an asset. Now, if it's increasing, it would be a debit. If cash is decreasing, you credit it. All right. So that's how that's how we have our um, credit of cash one hundred dollars. So now we know that we have to have a debit debit that matches the credit. So how did I come out with a how did I come out with draw for the uh, for the debit. Well, let's think about it. 
Well, now that I, I've, do, I've done this enough, and you might know, you might write it down, that uh, this is one of the reasons why I put Withdraw, uh, why I really like DC Adler, because you've got Withdraw right across from Equity. And a Withdraw, it, it's, it's a Withdraw for, for personal reasons, or it's it's a shareholder distribution. It doesn't have it doesn't have anything to do with you know it's not an expense or revenue because you're not <clears throat> you're not decreasing you're not the money is not leaving your business for uh, a business transaction. This is for your personal 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 reasons or you know in a S corp it would be. A shareholder distribution is one of the the main benefits of having one of those because it's it's a non-taxable distribution. It's it's non-taxable where you take money out of the business. But you took this for per, personal personal gain, personal reasons. You took this out of the business. So you got money leaving. You got money leaving the business, not for a business. So it's not revenue. It's not an expense. Uh, it's not a liability you don't owe, owe it to anybody. It is, uh, it is a reduction of equity. A withdrawal is a, uh, a draw is a reduction of equity. So you will, you after you do a couple of these and you, and you realize shareholder distribution or withdrawal, they're kind of synonymous. I have a couple of videos on shareholder distributions and everything like that and I really explain them a lot. But you're gonna realize that yeah, when I take when I take a uh, when I take money out for personal reasons, that's a withdraw. That's a draw. That's a shareholder distribution, depending on what kind of company you're working with. But it's going to be DC eight. It's going to be the D and eight right there. And after you do a bunch of bunch of examples, you're going to figure that out. So I wanted to say. I wanted to delve a little bit deeper in that and show you how it plays out on the on the balance sheet here. How this transaction plays out on the balance sheet. Draw a draw is an equity account. There's no so like the balance sheet is assets equals assets equal liabilities and equity. That's the balance sheet here. Assets equal liability plus equity. That's the balance sheet. The income statement is revenue minus expenses. All right. So that leaves the withdrawal. Withdrawal is not really one of the five. One of the five boxes. Every transaction, every journal entry transaction you make, is going to have an effect with uh, either the income statement or the balance sheet or possibly both. And the withdrawal is really, it's really just a placeholder. You don't really need it. It's just to signify really that it reduces equity. It makes it easy for everything, I believe, because you have lined up. Where was I get, where was I where was I getting at with that? So I just want to show you what happens after this transaction of the balance sheet. And so you can see kind of what a uh, withdraw or a draw or shareholder distribution does. Uh, a draw is and at the equity account, this goes under the equity account. It's an equity, but it's a it's a neg it's a negative equity. Okay? That's what a draw is. Draw is negative equity. So I would say also for every journal entry you make, you do put down after you do it know know what if uh, if it's an asset, a liability, equity, expense, or revenue, because then you'll know if the uh, if it affects the balance sheet or the income statement. Cash is an asset, so we have an asset and equity here. So this transaction is going to affect just the balance sheet. Before the transaction, you have assets of assets cash of a thousand dollars now assets equals liabilities plus equity 
We don't have any liabilities, I just want to make this simple. So assets, you have cash of $1,000. Uh, equity, you have retained earnings. That's what was retained in the business, left over from uh, last year after all the calculations and everything of the equity. That's what rolled over in equity for the, for the new year. And a retained earnings of $500. Plus this year, you have net income of $500. Net incomes from the from the uh, income statement, but so you have five hundred dollars retained earning, five hundred dollars net income for a thousand for a thousand dollars equity. So assets of a thousand dollars equals a thousand dollars liability and equity. Okay, hope that makes sense. So this was before the transaction. This was before the transaction. Now we're doing after the transaction. What happened after the transaction? Well, let's figure that out. This is going to be the fun part. This is our journal entry. We have we have cash uh, of credit of a hundred dollars because we had. Now you know that, or you can go look at here. Uh, takes out a hundred dollars, so you know that's lessening. But let's go from the journal entry. So you got cash of $100, credit cash $100. So you know that is leaving leaving the business. So you had a hundred, you had a thousand dollars. Now after reducing it by $100, you have $900 in cash. Now that's now we're going to have to equal assets equal liabilities plus equity. We still this is an equity account, so it doesn't have anything to do with liabilities, so we still have zero liabilities. Now the reason I'm doing this, you might find this a little interesting. Uh, hopefully you can you can see it now. We still have retained earnings. Retained earnings aren't going to change during the year. So you're really not going to touch that account during the year. So if you had $500 retained earnings before a transaction, you're still going to have that after a transaction. We have retained earnings of $500 still. Um, now this didn't have anything, to, this transaction didn't have anything to do with the revenue or expense so it is not gonna, is not gonna change the net income. This transaction didn't, didn't change how much money you've made in profit or net income during the year. So you're still gonna have $500 here. What it did do, what we want to put, what we put down now, now this is saying before we didn't have any draws, we didn't have any draws this year because you would close the draw account out uh, to retain earnings after the year. But, so we didn't have any draws yet this year, but now we have one. So now we're going to put, it goes under equity, it's a reduction of equity. So you're going to put draw of $100. So just how you added up retained earnings and net income to get the old $1,000 now after the transaction, after the transaction, you're going to get uh, $1,000 minus 100 for that draw. So you're going to have $900. So what that did, $900 assets, $900 equity. So as you can see, you took out, you go to the ATM, you take out money, you take out $100 for personal reasons, you take a draw out for personal reasons, and it's a reduction of equity, and I wanted to show you that in this uh, this video. <laughs> Draw is reduction of equity. I wanted to show you that in the balance sheet. Anyways, I hope you really enjoyed the video, and until next time, CPA Strength, I'm out. <gasps> Deuces.